Hey guys, uh, you'll never guess where I am. Okay, you probably will because you probably read the title, but I am at Hammock Gear Headquarters and I'm gonna pick up my new quilt and uh, hopefully we're gonna get a little bit of tour of, of Hammock Gear. So uh, stick with me and uh, let's go inside. So this is Harry. What's up? <laughs> and a storm grow, right? Yeah. Is that what you go by? All right. Good to meet you. Good to meet you. It might right, be easier. Here. Um, we do it in a different place. So this is your storage quilt. Okay. Keep it in there when you're um, not on the trail. That kind of stuff keeps it nice and lofted. Right. Um, this is your stuff sack. Cool. For when you're hiking, it's, what have you got? A twenty. Yeah, twenty. It's, it might be a little bit bigger than you need, but. I always, at least for me, I don't want something that's like a compressed rock. Right. You kind of want it to fill up your pack. Be able to move it around and stuff. Yeah, yeah. So, this is your new quilt, man. This has got a cinch cord for your head. Stretchy cord so you don't, you know, drop yourself. yourself in the middle of the night. And you, you basically pop it open. Uh, but it's got, got vertical baffling in the torso area to minimize any kind of movement, side to side movement, and then horizontal on the bottom. It doesn't really shift very much down there. So, nice. bottom, cinch cord. You can open it up if you're getting hot, and close it down. Uh, zipper at the bottom. Yep, you can open it all the way up and use it like a blanket. Pretty versatile. Awesome. You know, it allows you to, to vent out any extra heat, that kind of stuff. Pretty new design. I think we officially launched it in April. Okay. Something that's long been awaited. And here's here's that thing. You just move it all the way out. I mean, you can. Yeah, that's nice. Yeah. All right, Harry. So tell us um, how Hammock Gear got started. 2009. Uh, Storm Crow, who is the owner, D um, started to get into backpacking at Hammock Camp. And like a lot of folks who start out, they're like, man, I'm sleeping in this hammock and I just can't get warm. Like, how do I get warm in a hammock? So he came back from this trip, did some Googling, uh, found hammock forms, uh, which if, if people are watching and are getting into hammock camping, man, I can't recommend hammock forms enough. It's invaluable information over there. Um, started getting into DIY, making his own stuff, and and from what I can remember, he made a quilt, an underquilt, and kind of probably posted his pictures on there, and people were like, oh, that's sweet, you know, how do I get one from you? <laughs> so he, he sold one and used that money to make another couple, and then so on and so forth, and now here we are in 2018, you know, only nine years later, and um, just doing our thing, man. Full facility. Yeah. <laughs> awesome. What would you say is the mission of Hammock Gear? Oh, man. Uh, just like any other outdoor gear manufacturer, getting people outside to enjoy um, everything that outdoors has to entail. Um, you know, we sort of started as a hammock-centric company, and we're, I'd say we still sort of are you know, under quilts, hammock tarps, things like that. Mm -hmm. um, but, but really, um, we want to expand that and um, get people who are, who are ground sleepers out there as well. Yeah. Can you tell me what all different things Hammock Gear makes? Oh man, uh, main, mainly uh, insulation. So top quilts, under quilts. Um, and we definitely make tarps as well. Things that keep you dry in your hammock. We make hammocks to hang between two trees. Um, a lot of little odds and ends that go into go along with hammock camping, hammock pillows, uh, organizers, uh, ridge lines, all of that stuff. Uh, so we kind of want to be a one-stop shop. All right, can you uh, tell me the difference between the Econ line of quilts and your ah, standard yes. line of quilts? Yeah, that's a question we get a lot. 
Um, we it, it is up on the FAQ, so if you don't want to listen listen to my spiel, it's it's up there. Um, so the main difference, <clears throat> there's two main differences. First would be the fabric that we use to build the quilts. The Econ series uses a uh, 1.1 ounce nylon taffeta fabric. The premium series we use a uh, argon 0.67 ounce per square yard or 0.9 ounce. So the premium is a little bit of a lighter material. Um, both both versions materials nice and durable. So a little bit heavier material on the Econ. And then the other main difference is what we use to fill the quilts. So the Econ series has 800 fill power water resistant duck down. The premium uses 850 fill power water resistant goose down. With a, a little bit lower fill power down in the Econ series, um, you need a little bit more of it to get to hit that temp rating. So we, we put about, I'd say about 10% more down in the quilts, in the Econ quilts versus the premium. Um, so all in all, it saves people about $100 because of the material difference costs, the cost difference in the materials. And, um, but they weigh about four to five ounces heavier depending on the model. So, you know, for some people, not a big deal. Where it makes a big difference would be, I'd say long distance backpackers, people doing the AT, you know, people putting in some serious miles. That four to five ounce difference, it matters. Ultimately, designs are the same. Everything else is the same. We all we make them all here, uh, right here in Reynoldsburg, Ohio. I just want to point out that the fact that they make the Econs here um, makes them unique to someplace like uh, Enlightened Equipment, who they have the mass drop specials that they run that are pretty close in price. Um, but all of the mass drop stuff by Enlightened Equipment is made in China. Um, whereas everything Hammock Gear makes is made right here in the US in their shop. Um, you order it, the same people make it. If they, if you buy an Econ, the same people are making that as are making the, um, the premium ones. All right, so I just, uh, I'm just leaving. Uh, this place is super cool. The people are awesome. They're really into their gear and they're really into backpacking. They're um, really excited about some things that they're trying to do to um, get new people into backpacking and like open that up to new people. Um, so yeah, really excited about uh, what they're doing here. Uh, when I get home, I'm gonna show you um, their quilt compared to the quilt that I made myself. <laughs> which should be comical, uh, but uh, it'll give you a good idea of, of the differences between what I made myself and what they made, and uh, uh, you're gonna see a huge quality difference. But uh, um, yeah, so I'll catch you when I get home. All right guys, well I'm back home and I've laid out my new Hammock Gear Burrow 20 alongside with the uh, quilt that I made myself side by side. 
and uh, I'm gonna show you some of the differences. Um, you'll definitely be able to see a difference in quality, um, but also um, uh, that's that's mainly why I'm showing you this is because I made one myself and it took me like 12 hours. Um, when I was talking to the people at Hammock Gear, um, they said that they put one of these things together in just a few hours and the quality is so much nicer. Um, so I'm gonna show you the two of them and uh, tell you a little bit about uh, why I got another quilt and uh, what we're gonna do with them. So um, here we go. All right, so I'm back up here in the corner so you can see good. That is the hammock gear. You can see the nice tag zone on it. Econ 20. And uh, it's, it's the same color as the one I made myself. They're both the Moroccan blue with black underneath. Uh, they're both about the same width um, but the hammock gear you can see is a couple inches longer. Um, so what we're going to do is, is the, uh, this is about the length of a short for hammock gear. Um, I made it with exactly two yards length of fabric, um, because I had read online that you need to use as much fabric as you are tall. And so I figured six foot is about, uh, it's just slightly taller than I am, but it turns out you need a little more than that. Um, so it was a little bit short, uh, when it got down really cold, but, uh, so these are the, these are them. I'm going to use the longer one. Chanda's going to use the shorter one. Um, you can see the, the stitching in this is just impeccable. Uh, no flaws whatsoever. Uh, it goes um, up and down from the head down to the foot box area. Then at the foot box area, uh, they go across. The one I made, um, it just goes up and down all the whole length of it. Um, and you can see like right here uh, where I like kind of screwed it up, but uh, yeah, so uh, this is definitely a, a nicer quilt if we flip them both back uh, You can see the perfect black threaded stitching in this with mine. Uh, I used orange um, The materials are similar. Um, I actually think that the material I used in mine is a lighter weight material than what they used which means that um, the quilts actually weigh about the same, uh, even though the one I made has 15 ounces of down in it, and this one has like 13 something. So, uh, yeah, it's uh, pretty exciting. This one is going to be a little bit warmer, so it lofts up a little bit more because it's got the extra down in it. The same fill power, um, as this one, but, uh, um, yeah, this one is a few inches longer. The hammock gear one's a few inches longer with a few uh, fewer ounces of down. Um, so we're gonna give this one to Chanda. It'll be a little bit warmer than this one, which should get us down to about the same temperature on trips. Thanks for watching. I'm really excited to give this thing a, a try and uh, look for, there'll probably be a review for it in the fall. Uh, not gonna do anything too soon because I wanna uh, get a chance to test it and see you know, am I really comfortable down to 20 degrees? Is it more like 30? Uh, thanks, Hammock Gear, for letting me come out and see your facility and uh, show it to uh, the viewers. And uh, I will catch you guys next time.